So this is something I've wanted to talk about for a while. This is about the Los Angeles fires and all the destruction in the LA County and uh, the city of Altadena, Pasadena, uh, all over in uh, Palisades and Malibu. It's horrible. But a lot of what I want to talk about has to do with these tiles. Now, these are uranium glazed tiles. These are radioactive. And these would have been installed in a lot of those homes. Not a lot, but a good portion of them that would have burned down. And so what I'm trying to do is bring awareness that when these people are actually going and cleaning up their lots of their houses that used to be there, uh, they should keep an eye out for these tiles. Try and salvage them if you can. Uh, these are pieces of history, but the other component of this is, is that uh, a lot of these tiles may have been damaged when the structure failed, or sometimes these tiles can actually pop if, um, if the heat is uh, too extreme or if there's too much of a temperature differential between middle of the tile and the outside edges of it. I know that these are actually fired in a, in a very hot oven to get these uh, tiles to actually, uh, you know, the glaze to actually turn into a glass to vitrify. But in certain situations, these tiles can pop. But I'm thinking that they'll probably be more damaged just from the structure falling or things falling on them or uh, something along those lines. I'm not actually sure what caused all the damage on this table. More than likely, uh, someone dropped it uh, or something fell on it. Uh, that's the reason why it's like missing part of it and why there's like a bunch of damage. And I found this at an antique shop down in Pasadena. And the guy that uh, owns the shop was actually nice enough to give me this tile, which I still think is a table. It probably was not a wall. Only, I only say that because of the corners on this. It looks like it was part of a table. But that's my biggest thing. I just wanted to kind of bring awareness to this uh, issue so that people don't just uh, clear their entire lot with a bulldozer, they actually go through it and try and salvage these tiles and to kind of clean up and see if there's actually any contamination. I know this is not what anyone wants to hear. So when someone's actually clearing out their lot and uh, you know using a bulldozer and just like trying to get everything out of there, I'm more concerned about uh, the contamination that would come from something like this because all these tiles that are missing the center portion of their glaze, that's uranium that is now missing off of that tile that is now on the ground somewhere. It's amongst that rubble, which would make that rubble radioactive. Not horribly radioactive, it's actually fine. Uh, uranium is a uh, pretty uh, naturally occurring element uh, on Earth, believe it or not. Um, but it is something to think about uh, when you're actually going through uh, your property or someone else's property, if you have to be working on site there, clearing the lots, just, uh, I would say carry a Geiger counter. Uh, that'd probably be the easiest solution to all of this. Uh, and it actually might create more of a headache for people clearing their lots, which I really don't want to see happen. I want to see people get back to their homes, uh, whatever's left of them and try and rebuild. Cause those places, like my uncle lost his home in Altadena, a house that I had been going to, uh, probably since uh, the early two thousands. And that was really sad to hear because that was a really cool house and it's a very interesting neighborhood. It was a very old neighborhood in Altadena. And so I want to see people get back to their homes and back to rebuilding and uh, see these uh, neighborhoods like Altadena, the Palisades, uh, areas of Malibu and everywhere else that was affected by the fire. I want to see these places come back and I'd love to see them actually still use these tiles in their homes because they are a huge part of history. Now, the, the problem is, is that when these tiles get damaged, like these ones are right here, uh, it can spread contamination in the form of these uh, glaze chips, these paint chips, which would make the area uh, where these chips are, if it gets ground into like a fine powder or something like that, or mixed amongst rubble, it can make that area a little radioactive. Now, this might trigger some type of thing where they can't like dispose of this type of uh, debris in a normal landfill or something like that. I, I kind of doubt that would be the case, but 
I don't know, California has some weird laws sometimes. But I just wanted to bring attention to this because it's something that is important to me and I think that's something that a lot of people haven't thought of. Uh, there was a video from LAist or um, something like that uh, where they talked about someone saving some batch elder tiles, which are uh, some of the very earliest uh, tiles that were made during that time period of like the, uh, the artist movement in Pasadena. And some of those tiles are gonna be radioactive. Uh, that was from a fireplace or something like that. And these people were actually trying to save all those tiles. And so I, I really hope people actually take the time to, to save these tiles, to try and recover this stuff, because this is part of history. But it's also going to be a contamination vector uh, going forward in, in rubble and stuff like that. And so, you know, I'm not trying to tell anyone not to use these tiles, but it is something you just have to keep an eye out for uh, when trying to rebuild and to clean up a lot that has burned down. So that's my biggest thing. So if you'd like to support this channel, uh, easiest way to do that would be through Patreon. I would really appreciate it. Uh, it's really awesome when people actually do contribute um, to this channel, like through Patreon or through YouTube membership or whatever. Uh, it gives them uh, early access to videos and behind the scenes footage, and it just helps me continue making videos uh, for this channel. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.